good morning once again uh this is the R rtd series i am making video for uh, previously i asked about uh, so many times any query you have then you can post a uh, few query i will get from the telegram and twitter as well so i replied there because there is not much questions there okay so now i am making a new video uh, which is uh, actually how to import data from any website and also i will cover how to draw a bar chart which can be very classic but very effective in data reading okay so let's start so first of all where we get the data so today i am representing suppose you have to import option chain from the nsc website so don't go the directly on the nsc link uh, there is a one option chain full page is available so you just search reliance option chain or any option chain you will get the link like this okay so this is the option chain just uh, click and see the link you can even uh, change the symbol name here only and you will get uh, the data for is anyone like sbin or uh, this is the sbin simple you have to just change the symbol name okay so this is the data i am getting for reliance suppose okay and i want to import this data so i just copy this whole link and opening excel okay so in excel tab you have not open as an administrator this is not required okay only upgraded and uh, new version of uh, excel like means it is should be updated okay it not be old dated version because old dated version is not much reliable even if you have very old system and not much updated then you will face some issues as well okay so in data tab you have just uh, from web and just click for from web and paste your link okay and go so your data will be come here you can see here your data is coming so here you will get this uh, right arrow uh, symbol there are so many maybe if you page is very bulky then you will see so many these symbols okay so on particular table you want that table only you have to select so select this data and import simple initially it will take little bit time so just wait for a few seconds and uh, there are so many ways uh, initially i have explained about rtd you can import data from nest terminal or any broker terminal so currently i am talking about how to import from the web okay okay so it will come like this or ask where to import data okay just click okay and you can see one line first is importing and this then this data is imported okay so this is a whole bunch of data it will uh, come to your excel uh, same like showing in the web okay sometimes uh, we see the issue with the cookies so maybe excel is not refreshing so just open in default default browser the same link so cookies issue will be resolved okay so your ip will be read that's all technical stuff so this data will be coming now you also want to refresh this data frequently so just go the connection or properties okay and here you can get this data uh, refresh every how many minutes or 5 or 10 or 15 minutes so this data will be automatically refresh okay so currently i am closing this uh, not refreshing now second thing this this is the whole raw data so my advice is don't uh, uh, make any visualization here so 
make another sheet and just take the data which is required not all the data so like ask bid is not required so you can even leave this status okay so uh, we don't understand what I am saying right now so I am just talking about conditional formatting which I have explained already so open interest data I have uh, so just select and already explain about this in a few first two videos so just simple step I am doing I am doing a conditional formatting okay so this is you have to do after making a new sheet not right now just I am explaining right now uh, so you can see once again okay so basically all study is related to OI okay and in middle there is a strike price okay so right now in comparison like uh, here is the highest Y on the call side and highest put side Y on the 2000 for their lines so this can be sometimes uh, difficult to visualize as well because this data is right and left so this is one good idea to create a one chart okay uh, one uh, chart so you will understand uh, more clearly and uh, real time comparison as well so now I am moving to second segment which I have explained I will show how to create a simple chart or bar chart uh, which you can see even few uh, paid brokers uh, paid terminals uh, you can find these things more obvious uh, always in some platforms so just select all the important data and just follow the rules so first of all I am uh, preparing data for the open interest then I will can make for the change of the interest okay so this data is illiquid and not required so I'm just hiding this and making for from the 1800 to 2400 because this looks much better here so also hiding some Im unimportant data okay so LTP net change volume OI and OI change so just select uh, OI first uh, go the recommended chart here you can see all the data which uh, you can plot the chart various charts line charts pi bar area scatter surface so I am using a bar chart okay so bar chart is plotted here simple but I want uh, this data is correct on the vertical axis but uh, I want on her horizontal axis to show strike price so just go and select data right click and select data and you can see horizontal axis the data is automatically it's take one to uh, sequence but I want 1800 to 2400 so just select this data okay so now you uh, you can see 1800 to 2400 even you can change the design as well uh, whatever you feel the comfort so for eye comfort I am taking a black screen uh, which is not required I am removing this or you can also rename this is the overall OI data okay now here you can see two parallel bar you can see so I am changing color as well so we can understand much better okay so the maximum OI you can see on the call side 2200 which is actually a resistance okay so call OI means we know it's a resistance so just double click on any bar or single click you will get this right side terminal uh, dashboard so just fill with the color so resistance normally as a red okay so and support as a green so now one simple excel or simple chart you will form 
and you can see simply and who's reading data i know about uh, what is the data is uh, the biggest y is normally show the resistance or support for the open interest okay so one data i have plotted here so you can see the maximum y on the call side is uh, at uh, 2200 okay so 2200 is a uh, the biggest hurdle for the reliance the next is 2100 okay and 22 uh, 2000 previously it is just cross and still near to 2000 and still you can see the 15000 versus 13000 so i think i selected the wrong data change in oi data for the so let's select data and remove this one let me check this is a c column correct uh, this is data is i think incorrect okay yes change in y i have took so let me check take t data t column data okay so now you can see i just change the color again for everyone so now you can see that on the 2000 what is the situation the almost the call and put oi approx 15 to 13000 okay so this this node is the most important fighting zone and you have to watch more clearly and even people is shorting itms 2100 right now so you can see the formation there is a huge resistance as well but people is still fighting with the positions so right now it is 2000 is the most important crucial point and when you see the change in oi then you will get more idea so let me plot that as well so once again just same process you have to follow column chart okay so two data is there one is the oi one is the change in oi so you can see change, uh, change the title change in oi okay so now once again this column is automatically took so selecting data and selecting the horizontal level so i get this data correctly here i don't want this now on the call side i want green color so i will get oh sorry resistance so it will be red color and this one be green color so visualization will be much better and also color change the design of the chart as well so once again it will take a default now you can see the simple visualization it is very clear on 2000 what will happen uh, yesterday previously day the huge unwinding on the call side and you can see the bar size as well and you can simply compare with the previous all the y you can see how aggressive unwinding will happen means that means reliance short cover is happen uh, previously okay and still 2000 is more important because still there is a resistance there and it is more than the support okay means i means to say call writing is more than the put writing still but still there is a huge unwinding so maybe we can see more up move okay same like what will happen if it will move to 2100 near and you can see the same formation like why is unwinding hugely then obviously it can move even more than uh, 2100 okay so basically in data reading the how much the big the why then bigger the move expected when unwinding will happen because the call writer will be going to leave the positions okay so this will be happen so any data reader can say like this okay so these are the two simple bar charts which you can uh, 
make easily and easily visualize the data as well because data reading uh, only with the number sometimes it's very difficult task so even you can simply change for everything like for you want to watch for SBI so just uh, change the formula and you will get the data okay for the SBI so same like you want SBI data so SBI in maybe it will not take right now okay so same thing let me import again it is already importing so no data uh, no uh, option is available okay so so after even refresh the same data is coming means a for reliance okay so this is once again what is all formatting will be gone so that's why i'm saying don't not advise to do the visualization here just make it uh, as a data import tab and make fresh import and make fresh option change so you can uh, watch any particular any uh, underline like reliance sbi or hcl or hdfc bank anyone so you can simply take this data is in very easy manner okay so who's uh, playing with very limited stocks they can make very simply and it is almost cost free and no any other third party uh, terminal as required as well only excel is uh, good enough to import this data okay sometimes some browser will be issue create issue or some very heavy load website will be uh, create issues uh, importing the data so you cannot import the data from the all the websites okay some restrictions and uh, sometimes uh, website developer also do this kind of things so try to take data from the very uh, light browsers so that's why i recommended this link okay i will post this link as well in the description section so this is enough for today uh, you can even change the layout okay so whatever the visualization you like just uh, let me show you you can even go with the like this uh, conversion the data okay even someone can plot the underlying price uh, some more even in the same thing even someone can take in one bar as well so you can see the still the maximum y the size is showing the y okay but the red and green is the participation in the same strike so you can see the here is the red is more means resistance is more okay here is the one into one almost so support resistance is will be one into one okay so same like uh, whatever the visualization you like you can convert okay even 3d or line chart you can do uh, area chart someone can do like this as well this is also good one to represent where is the support resistance okay so whatever you like you can just develop like this okay so better you visualize the less your hard work the smart work you have doing so easy to playing and you can more focus on data as well with the charts okay so this is enough for today session then i will see some more things or in comment section whatever i get some useful stuff then i will explain in the next session as well okay so thank you everyone once again and